Welcome back Nerd Squad, my name is Rory Destroyer and this is Top 10 Nerd. The superhero industry is extremely profitable, especially when franchises branch off from comics and extend into other ventures, such as TV shows, video games and toys. So it's natural for other companies to want to capitalize on the success of previously existing superheroes, but copyrights are in place for a reason, as we are about to see. So let's take a look at the Top 10 Superhero Knockoffs. Spot we have Spider Man. Well, at least this one got the name right, but that's where the resemblance stops. You guys don't mean to tell me you forgot all about that story arc where Spidey discovers guns make things a ton easier? Oh, wait, that never happened? Well, not according to this action figure. The addition of Spidey's new catchphrase, come on, enjoy the pleasure together, doesn't exactly sell me this thing either. Not even for $2. I hope that warning at the bottom reads warning, do not purchase if you have any respect for Marvel at all. Coming in at number 9 is La Mujer Murcielago. Woman was reimagined, to put it lightly, in his 1968 Mexican film as a socialite turned crime fighter who was in charge of hunting down a mad scientist. A guy with the goal of harvesting wrestler gland fluids and concocting an army of fish monsters. From the sense that the film does not make to the fact that Mexican Batwoman is afraid of mice, the ridiculousness speaks for itself. Next at number 8 we got Superman Big Alliance. I don't even know what's going on here or where to even begin. I could start with how the heroes on the packaging don't match the figures included at all. I could start with the fact that the Fantastic Four and Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers have literally never teamed up. I could also state the obvious, where the hell is Superman? You would think he would be a part of the Superman Big Alliance, but thank god we got Shrek instead, and look how happy he is to be there. In the number 7 spot is Roman. We've discussed how Marvel and DC both rip off each other in previous videos, so now we're going to take a look at Image Comics. Because Namor and Aquaman were such smash hits, Imagine had to get in on the Atlantean fun and create their own version in 1993. This was Roman, a Rob Liefeld creation, and not the final one on this list. And for good measure he even took Namor's name and reversed it to get Roman, creativity at its finest. Coming in at number 6 we have Power. At first glance you may be keen to say this is the Incredible Hulk in a Speedo, but how dare you label such a unique figurine as a hero it clearly is not. No this isn't Hulk, this is Power, and his special features include the awesome abilities such as Superior Powered, Thunderbolt, Overlord, and Top King. But get this, he can also shine, whatever that means. Not suitable for children under 2 because it's too awesome. Next up at number 5 is Smash. Keeping with the Hulk for this one, Hulk's famous tagline is Hulk Smash. And Rob Liefeld of Image Comics decided to draw a little inspiration from this and create his own Hulk named Smash, who happens to look exactly like the Hulk, aside from the skin color. Is this just the Hulk with a printer mishap that colored him purple instead of green? Nope, it's just a lazy shortcut to a superhero. Not even satire. Liefeld does defend his position by saying these characters are tributes, not ripoffs, and he did work for both DC and Marvel, but seriously man, give credit where it's due. Up next at number 4 is Special Man. He may not be Superman, but he sure is special. The obvious Superman knockoff hits the mark mostly appearance wise, so it's possible that the name is a case of mistranslation. However, on closer inspection something just does not sit right with us. I don't know if it's the snarly facial expression, or the off kilter S on the chest, or maybe the fused left hand. Why is it like that anyway? Perhaps it's all better to handle his uh, special stick with. In the number 3 spot we have Glory. Good old Rob Liefeld has done it again. Glory debuted in 1993 as part of the Image Comics roster. She was a half demon, half Amazonian, who is raised by her Amazonian mother Lady Demeter to become a warrior. She's gorgeous, she's superman strong, she's the princess of an Amazonian island. This doesn't sound like anyone familiar at all, right? Nope, never, no way. Coming in at number 2 is Japanese Spider Man. This wasn't even an unofficial bootleg, to be honest. The Toei company actually owned rights to Marvel's material for three years, and this is what they decided to do with it. Their version of Spidey in the 1978 show is a motorcyclist who receives a bracelet that activates something called a Spider Protector Suit and a blood injection to activate spider like powers. He also pilots a machine called Leopardon, because what's a Japanese TV show without a giant robot thrown into the mix? And finally, in the number 1 spot, we've got Mavel Team Up. Yes, exciting, a 4 in 1 package, except two big things wrong here. First off, you meant Marvel, right? Okay, honest typo, we can get past that. Second off, and I know you guys are on this one already, even if it was an honest typo, you know Batman and Superman aren't from Marvel, right? 
At least call it DC and Marvel team up, or TC and Marvel, something like that if we're really determined not to even try. So those were the top 10 superhero knockoffs. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these was the funniest. My name is Roy Destroya, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.